from CareCo TV, one of the longest running outdoor programs on television today. Exploring the country and the coast in search of adventures. From the mountains of the great Northwest to the shores of the Atlantic Ocean, this is Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin. This week on Americana Outdoors, we're bringing you exclusive coverage of two renowned tournaments, the Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's 2019 National Team Championship and the Bass Pro Shops 2019 U.S. Open Boat Fishing Championship. Let's kick things off at Sault Ste. Marie with coverage of the three-day National Team Championship. Sault Ste. Marie is host to the NTC back in 2013 when Wayne Van Dyke and Eric Carlson took the championship. This year, Sault Ste. Marie has pulled out all the stops and hosted it again. And we can't wait to see what the anglers bring to the stage. We know it's a little cooler now than it has been in years past that we've been here to compete, but the anglers are still finding fish in some unique places. Anglers will get a chance to explore Sault Ste. Marie as they're here for this weekend. And the fact that it's Michigan's oldest city is just a really unique aspect of being here. And of course, you've got the beautiful sights like the ships coming in and uh, the museums and the downtown is beautiful too. The format for this event is six fish in the live well and bring your best five fish to the stage. And the anglers will be on the lookout for fish 15 inches and over. 177 teams will be out on the water for the first two days, and by the third day, the competition will be cut down to only 25 teams competing for what the tournament likes to call the 25 All-American. The first place team will receive $25,000 in cash, plus a brand new Ranger 620. On top of that, we have another Ranger 620 awaiting the top Ranger Cup qualified team. The total cash purse for this event will be over $260,000. That's a 500% payback for these anglers on their registration fee. Let's get right to the action and join our competitors out in the water. Get him. Oh, we needed that one. Good job. It's number five. That helped us a lot. Now we got five over 19. We got a 25, a 23, a 22, and 219. So should get us where we need to be. So we're looking for probably a 21, I'm guessing. We need three more like that or bigger. We're just trying to pick off as many as we can while they're in there feeding and who knows where they go after that. That is the puzzle. Look at the color of that one. Woohoo! All you. Get them. That's, nice. that's a good one. Yeah, ain't bad. Woo! Good job. Good job. There we go. Not your typical climbing on walleye, but we'll take it. Get him. Got him. Yeah. Good, good job, one. Josh. That's what we needed. That's what we needed. It's a good number five. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Woo. Nice. You win or lose up here, it's, uh, it's first place or last place usually. We had a good day yesterday, we we're kind of blessed. We still got roughly an hour left before we have to get her, so hopefully we can pick up a couple more and at least scratch a limit and keep us in the hunt. The 
first two days of Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's National Team Championship are officially a wrap, and we're at the scales for weigh-in. Rounding out the top three are Jason Doyen and Shane Turcott, with a two-day total of 37 pounds, 13 ounces. Matt Gregg and Dane Stanaway made an astounding leap from 99th place on day one into second place at the end of day two, with a total weight of 38 pounds, 9 ounces. So far, Josh Gordon and Justin Champagne have maintained a strong lead with an impressive two-day total of 60 pounds, 9 ounces. I thought that would have took three days to get 60 pounds, so I'm super, super happy with the bites that we got. We're only getting like six bites a day, but we can put them in the boat every time. And obviously we are. That's awesome. We're just going to bring it in tomorrow. We got the confidence. Um, we feel good at Obviously, we're on the the good fish, so we we just need some confidence there, and we, we picked it up today. Here's a look at the top 25 teams who'll be competing in the last leg of the tournament on day three. When we come back, we'll dive right into day three action and find out which team will be crowned the 2019 Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's National Team Championship winners. We know if you found one crappie, you may have found a thousand. We know the joy of getting your boots back in the mud. We know the journey can be more rewarding than the destination. We know the great outdoors. We love the great outdoors. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Stop by today for huge savings on the gear you need and the brand you trust. Plus free two-day shipping at BassPro.com and Cabela's.com. You sons of fishes. Ain't enough fish on this lake for two clubs. Really? Well, we see plenty of fish live with pan optics. Yep. Dang! We should get pan optics. Or maybe we'll just take yours. What's going on here? You boys have license? Yes, yes sir. sir. Nope. <laughs> there he is. Oh, I got him. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Garmin, fight your fish, not your fish finder. Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. Well, so far we've seen two action-packed days of walleye fishing here in Sault Ste. Marie. To kick things off for day three, we're joining the current leaders, Josh Gordon and Justin Champagne on the water. We made it through the locks a little earlier. Uh, weather conditions were really good for running. We made a quick run over here. And uh, our first pass, we, we caught a small fish, probably about 20 inches. On our second pass, uh, had a double and, and landed one, one out of two. We need to get to that uh, 15 to 20 pounds to have a comfortable lead going in for day three because you just never know um, what kind of fish can be caught up here. The second place team can, uh, can pull a 35 or 38 pound bag. It's possible to do here. On this final day of fishing, the fish have turned the tables on the anglers and catches are few and far between. But that's not discouraging our competitors past couple days there's been a small uh, bite that opens up in the afternoon so hopefully we're here for that and can get another another fish we only have the two on the boat right now and one or two more fish will go a long ways to to help us out and make sure we can stay on top let's check in with the current second place team and see if their stretch of water is yielding better results we got here we got the first pass on the spot and we banged two right away and we haven't caught a fish now in about two and a half hours. So a lot's going through our mind right now, but uh, in the back of it, it's saying stay put and hope for a bite window. Fish. It's a bass. Mm, I don't think so. It is a bass. That's a heartbreaker. Heck of a smallie though. Wrong species. After another rigorous day on the water, the 2019 NTC is a wrap, and it's time to head to the scales for the final weigh-in. 
many of our teams are returning with five fish limits and finishing with impressive totals. Current tournament leaders Josh and Justin are on stage looking to finish strong. You guys predicted just about this exact weight. They put 13 pounds, 10 ounces on the scale for 74 pounds, three ounces. With everyone on the edge of their seats, day two's second place team, Matt Gregg and Dane Stanaway are last to weigh in. They need 35 pounds and 10 ounces. 12 pounds, 13 ounces. Great job, guys. Dane, Matt, congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2019 Bass Pro Shops Cabela's National Team Champions! On top of their $25,000 cash prize, both teammates received brand new Ranger 620s for being Ranger Cup qualified, totaling $165,000 in cash and prizes. This whole week's just been awesome uh, to fish the NTC for the first time, um, and, and the Suez is a tough fishery, yeah. and to do as well as we did. I don't even know what to say, words can't even describe. To win two Ranger boats, uh, to win an NTC, just unbelievable. First day was a, a lull, I would say. We uh, we caught one fish that we only got one bite. We never even lost a fish the first day. Second day, we whacked them pretty good. In an exciting turn of events, day two's third place team, Jason Doyen and Shane Turcott, inched their way into second place with a final total weight of 54 pounds. We had a consistent bite every day and uh, we really thought going into this, 50 to 60 pounds would, uh, would win, but uh, we're pretty happy with how the day went. Very well run tournament, very professional, great people, lots of great volunteers. Can't say enough about it. Hope to come back here soon. What an incredible close to the 18th season of the Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's National Team Championship. This event draws in the nation's highest skilled grassroots walleye anglers every year, giving them the opportunity to shine in the spotlight of national media attention. If you're interested in competing in the next championship, visit walleyefederation.com. Coming up on Americana Outdoors, we're heading over to Bossier City, Louisiana, where we'll be joining John Paul Morris and 118 teams of bow fishermen for the 2019 U.S. Open Bow Fishing Championship. Stay tuned. Groundbreaking designs, unsurpassed quality, and unshakable confidence. Welcome to the Ranger Z500 and Z100 series. Leading the industry for over 50 years, these rigs are custom crafted and loaded with more features and advantages to deliver the ultimate ownership experience. The legendary Ranger Z series, unleash next level performance. Yamaha Outboards, reliability starts here. At the pinnacle of super high output, four-stroke outboard performance, you'll find Yamaha VMAX SHO, Yamaha's game-changing SHO technology. From exhilarating V6 models to the sleek inline fours, there's a VMAX SHO for everything from bass to bonefish. It's an extended family of four strokes, engineered for lightweight, inspiring performance, and rock solid reliability. Discover VMAX SHO and elevate your expectations. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, is brought to you by Yamaha Marine. Reliability starts here. Secret Lures, the secret is out. Angle, the original high performance cooler. And by Power Pole, total boat control. Over the last seven years, the U.S. Open Bowfishing Championship has catapulted bowfishing into the tournament spotlight, resulting in bowfishing becoming one of the fastest growing water sports today. This year, Bass Pro Shops Bossier City Store is hosting the seventh annual tournament, where competitors from all across the nation can enjoy a unique collection of fun, fellowship, competition, exciting giveaways, and conservation efforts put forth by our hosts and sponsors. It's a passion event for the family at Bass Pro Shops. John Paul Morris is the creator of the event, and he's also an avid bow fisherman. We're literally right on the Red River, is about 100 yards to my right side here. This is kind of a hub of bow fishing. You know, we're right here between Louisiana and Texas, and both states have not only a lot of fish, but some giant fish. 
there's a huge community of bow fishermen that live and fish here in the Louisiana and Texas region. So we're looking for a great turnout today of a lot of local teams. And we'll also have teams traveling here from states like Minnesota and West Virginia. We literally have teams coming here from all around the country. It's normally a four-man team on each boat. Uh, some of the teams will have three to four anglers on each boat. We'll turn them loose tomorrow afternoon at four o'clock. They can go to about 12 different lakes from Texas, Louisiana, and they've been scouting for obviously for a couple of weeks trying to find what they consider the largest fish. We'll go with a, the largest 20 is what they get to weigh in on Sunday morning. We'll start weighing them in about 4 a.m. and we stop the weigh-in Sunday morning at 8 a.m. So we got lots of stuff going on. When John Paul Morris was only 16 years old, he, along with his Tracker Boats team, developed a boat specifically designed for bow fishing. This has resulted in an extensive lineup of the most durable boats available in the bow fishing community. We started with an 1860, and that was our middle of the road boat. It was really popular, and then we added a 20-footer and a 16-footer, so we really have the full gamut of bow fishing boats now. So your entry-level guy, you're first getting started, you're fishing small lakes, 16-footer is great. But now the 20-foot model has actually become our most popular bow fishing boat. The cool thing about all of our tracker bow fishing boats is that most of them, the front deck removes right off there. So if you want to go duck hunt or you want to go fishing in the wintertime or in the summertime, it's easy to transform your bow fishing boat into a regular boat to go fishing. Backed by the Tracker Promise, every boat available for purchase guarantees the best factory warranty in aluminum boats. By visiting trackerboats.com, you can explore their vast array of features to find a boat that will deliver the best performance for your bow fishing adventures. You know, when I was first getting started in bow fishing, I had some buddies take me to tournaments and I just loved the atmosphere. And a big piece of it was the camaraderie and then also, you know, the competitive side of me loved the tournament fishing. It didn't take me long after going to a few of these tournaments, I thought it would be great if I hosted a little tournament uh, on my own in Missouri. So we started working on it and I was thinking it'd be great if we had, you know, 30 or 40 boats show up. And I remember the first year we ended up having 127 teams show up for the tournament. And uh, it just blew me away that these teams traveled from all over the country to Table Rock Lake in Missouri to compete. And I met some great friends. I met a lot of awesome guys at that tournament that are still coming to my tournaments today. And it's one of my favorite reasons for hosting. Another thing about bow fishing I love is the conservation aspect. We're right here on the Red River and there's some invasive species that have been spreading all across the country. When you consider that carp isn't a native species to North America, you know, it was introduced to do good and it's actually done more harm than, than it could ever possibly do good. So we're really excited to have these guys here to be able to help us take a, hopefully 100,000 pounds of a, out of the lakes and rivers here locally. We're really excited about it. It's, it's a, definitely a, a different and growing sport. Um, the popularity of the sport's growing faster and faster. Every year we're selling more and more and seeing more and more of the, the product and more and more of the customers come in the store. All the time I get questions from people that say, oh man, bow fishing looks so awesome, I want to go do it. And you know, we've really seen it here at the US Open Bow Fishing Championship. Every year we have new teams coming to participate and they're coming from all over the country. And uh, it's really cool to see because when we do these events at a store, not only do we have these seasoned veterans that are really, really good bow fishermen, but we get a lot of uh, interest from novices or people that have never been before that this will spark their interest to actually go out on the water and try bow fishing. If you're interested in finding out more information about this year's US Open Bow Fishing Championship, or if you'd like to compete in next year's, go to BassPro.com forward slash US Open for more information. Hey everybody, just wanted to say thank you so much for coming out, showing up, even though we don't have the best weather forecast for tonight. I know it takes a lot more than that to keep a bunch of rednecks wanting to keep fish down. So I just want to reiterate to everybody tonight to please be very safe. The winds are supposed to get up later. Just make some smart decisions. There's some big lakes down here with some big water, and I just want everybody coming back here safe in the morning. I just really appreciate all the turnout. I wish everybody a bunch of luck tonight. Be safe. The 2019 U.S. Open Bow Fishing Championship is officially underway. With thunderstorms rolling in, our bow fishermen are in for some rough conditions tonight. When we return, we'll see how everyone fared and find out which team will be crowned the 2019 U.S. Open Bow Fishing Champions. You know that guy that's always bringing in big ones from offshore? He's got secret lures. That guy that can pull out a spinning rod and start catching them when you can't buy a bite. He's got secret lures. 
What about that guy that can follow you down the bank and catch what you left behind? He's got secret lures. Oh, yeah, good one. If you are ready to be that guy, get your secret lures today at secretlures.com. We demand a lot from the products that we use on our adventures around the world. When it comes to keeping things seriously cold, we rely on Angle Coolers, who have for over 50 years kept things cold. Angle Coolers, the original high-performance cooler. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, is brought to you by Yamaha's proven off-road ATVs and side-by-side -side vehicles. Sunline, the strength to guarantee your confidence. Sawyer Products. Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. Well, our competitors have returned to the scales after a difficult night of fishing. The overnight storms wreaked havoc on the lakes, but let's check in and see how teams are looking so far. We're probably 40 boats in right now, the way in and we've got 400 pounds leading it right now. We've got right at 50 on each of the three species for the big fish, the common carp, grass carp, and buffalo. So it's really starting to shape up to be good. The storms must not have hurt them as bad as we was afraid they would. I know that some of them run a long ways in their trucks to try to find some clean water, so evidently it did work. We're getting rained on pretty good here right now, but it's supposed to blow on through and supposed to have some clear skies for our big festivities this morning. Turned out to be a pretty good night. Started out really rough though. The weather was horrible, but we had a blast. First time at the US Open. We'll be back, 100%, we'll be back. We love it. Right now leading big grass carp with a 58 uh, pound grass carp and we're in the top 10 on weight so far. A lot of challenges, so obviously weather, but we were prepared for it, so we looked at the forecast and um, just kind of kind of went out there and saw what happened and then gave it all we got. The results are in and it's time to head to the stage to announce the winners. Weigh-in had a great turnout with 118 teams checking in. In the big fish categories, Team Possum Cods earns the title for the big grass carp with a massive 58.3 pound grassy. No Limit Boat Fishing wins the common carp category with a 51.6 pound common carp. Team Obscure Adventures harvested an incredible 73.3 pound buffalo carp, earning both the big buffalo and overall big fish titles. Coming in third place overall is Team Midnight Warriors with 491 pounds. In second place, we have Team Southern Style Bow Fishing with a total weight of 505 pounds. Taking first place and the $25,000 grand prize is Team Pure Shot Outdoors with a mind-blowing total weight of 600.3 pounds. Here's a look at the rest of the top 10 team standings. Boat number 110. 110 wins a brand new boat. Congratulations, buddy. Congratulations to Jordan O'Neill, the winner of our raffle drawing for a brand new 1860cc sportsman tracker boat. Uh, we fought the, the wind, the rain, uh, we had some issues, so we had a hard night of fishing, but it was, it was good and we pulled it out. We look forward to fishing it again. That wraps up the 2019 U.S. Open Bow Fishing Championship. This year, we saw more than 58,000 pounds of invasive species removed from the lakes our competitors covered. Congratulations to all of our winners and a big thanks to John Paul Morris, Bass Pro Shops, and our sponsors for making this such an exciting event. We hope to see you all back next year and be sure to visit us at BassPro.com forward slash U.S. Open for the latest tournament information. Hey, thank you for watching, and join us next week on a new episode of Americana Outdoors. Americana Outdoors is a Careco TV production. I got my power pulled down, stuck in the mud in the bottom of the lake, sitting so still in the wind and the waves, could even be a hurricane. I got my power
Probably one of the number one questions I get, you know, what line do I use? That's a big debate. For every tour out there, everybody's debating which line. I choose the simple side. My choice of line is sunline. One of my favorite lines to use is sunline. How all can you use it? Anywhere you want to. Anywhere there's water and bass, it's good. Walleye, catfish, trout, speckled yeah, trout, buddy. sharks. There we go. Uh, I don't say this unless I think it's true, but honestly, it's the best in the market. Approximately 30,000 cases of Lyme disease happen each year in the United States. The main culprit, ticks. Stop and kill ticks in the outdoors with Sawyer's permethrin insect repellents. Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. Here at Big Bite Baits, we've got a big line of different plastics and you know, they're all a tool, so you wanna have them with you all the time. I made several checks in crowded areas, flipping that right there. Just a six inch Big Bite Crete tail worm. Here at Big Bite, we came out with four brand new colors this year. All four of these colors are going to be great fish catching baits. Definitely my number one go-to bait that Big Bite has out right now is the Big Bite Battle Bug. Big Bite is leading the way when it comes to innovation and colors. Many said that we were just obsessed when we started, that there had to be an easier way to smoke food. As time passed, the Bradley family created a lineup of Bradley electric smokers that has made it easier for the novice or even expert chef to get perfect results every time they use it. Grab yourself a Bradley smoker and take your cooking to an all new level. Combining the best of old world craftsmanship with state-of-the-art technologies to bring fishermen everywhere a fishing rod that's feather light, extremely sensitive yet remarkably durable for any fishing condition or situation. Denali Rods. Tournament tested and tournament tough. Hobie's Mirage Drive kayaks set the standard for fun on the water. Whether your passion is fishing, sailing, or recreational adventure, Hobie's got a kayak for you. Hobie's Mirage Drive mimics nature's proven designs for efficient and powerful propulsion and enhances your kayaking experience. Mirage Power, Mirage Performance, Mirage Drive. Hobie, enjoy the ride.